Increasing coronavirus cases are now having a ripple effect throughout the health care field in our area, from patients to hospitals to ambulance services. NBC 15's Justin Moore joins us now. Justin, paramedics are being delayed from going from one call to another because their stretchers are being used as hospital beds. Yeah, that's right. Typically, paramedics take a person to the emergency room. Hospital staff switches that patient from the paramedic's gurney to a bed, but that process is taking longer than usual these days. One of the paramedics said all of the hospitals, the mobile, all of them were on diversion except for one. Shocking for Lillian to hear after calling 911 for her 95-year-old grandmother who couldn't catch her breath and tested positive for COVID. She says a paramedic told her Spring Hill Medical Center was the only mobile hospital with vacant beds. That struck me because I hadn't heard anything about that. Rising coronavirus cases are causing hospitals in Mobile to fill up fast. Newman's ambulance tells us it's forcing paramedics to wait longer than usual in emergency rooms. She spent the night in the ER. It took a while to, to get a room, but she, she is in, in a room. A spokesperson for Newman says hospitals that are at capacity are keeping ER patients in ambulance gurneys until beds become available for them, forcing paramedics to stick around at ERs longer than usual, waiting to get their stretchers back to go on the next call, even forcing Newman's to put administrators on ambulance to avoid missing 911 calls. COVID is beginning now to stress our hospitals in a way that we're not we don't usually see. Dr. Don Williamson with the Alabama Hospital Association says these increasing numbers are the result of the 4th of July weekend. Earlier this month, more than 1,100 people were hospitalized in Mobile with corona. According to the American Hospital Directory, Mobile only has 1,740 hospital beds. If people don't wear the mask, we are going to find ourselves in some communities uh, in very, very dire circumstances. Now, people in the medical community hope the statewide mask mandate will work and reduce COVID cases by August. This would alleviate these kinds of problems. Greg?